feudalism is the name given to the system of government William I introduced to England after he defeated Harold at the Battle of Hastings in 1066. William I is better known as William the Conqueror. He had defeated the Saxons led by Harold, but he had to gain control of England before he could truly be called King of England. William, when in England, spent most of his time in London. He built his own castle, the Tower of London. When William became king, he confiscated all the land from the Saxons. He introduced the feudal system. This was used to govern the country, control the people and create a ready-made army. William was still Duke of Normandy and he had to return to Normandy to maintain control of his land in France. He had to leave for weeks at a time. And this is why he had to find a way to control England and to keep control of the people and keep them loyal to him. William could not look after all of the land. He kept one-fifth of the land for himself and he gave 25% of the land to the church. The remainder he divided up into huge plots of land. These plots of land were given to his noble men who had fought bravely for him in the Battle of Hastings. The land was not just given to the nobles. They were given the land and the title of baron and in return they had to swear an oath of loyalty to William, had to collect taxes and had to provide him with soldiers. William appointed approximately between 180 and 200 barons. The oath is on the screen above. I become your man from this day forward for life and loyalty. I shall be true and faithful to you for the lands that I hold from you. The land the barons received was large and difficult to govern. The barons further divided up their land and it was given to trusted Norman knights who had also fought well in the battle. In return for the land, the knights had to swear an oath to the baron, collect taxes and also had to provide soldiers when needed. There was between 3,000 and 5,000 knights in England and because they had sworn an oath to their baron, they had really sworn an oath to King William also. At the bottom of the feudal system were the conquered Saxons, or English, who had to do what they were told. There were between one and a half and two million and they were known as villains or peasants. They had to promise to work in the knight's land and to give him a share of their crops. They also were not allowed to leave the knight's land without permission. The peasants paid homage or showed loyalty and the knight in return promised to protect them. So, just to go over some of the figures I mentioned earlier. In the feudal system there was one king, King William. William appointed between 180 and 200 barons. The barons then appointed between 3,000 to 5,000 knights and there was approximately a population of 2 million peasants. The feudal system is represented by a triangle. At the top of the feudal system is the king. I am the king. I have decided to appoint 200 barons. I will give them land, but they will have to promise to be loyal and fight for me. The king has made me a baron and granted me land. I must promise to be loyal and fight for the king. The baron has made me a knight and granted me land. I must train and be ready to fight for him. I am the villain, peasant. The knight allows me to live in his land. I must pay him taxes and not leave without permission. This is one of the many diagrams you may see when studying the feudal system. You may be asked to explain this for homework. For example, what is happening in arrow 1? In arrow 1, the king is giving land 
to the barons. In Arrow 2, the barons are promising to fight for the king and also promising to provide him with soldiers. In Arrow 3, the baron is giving land to the knights. The knights in Arrow 4 are promising to provide soldiers and also promising to fight for the baron.